Well, you have to hand it to Nissan, creating a lot of excitement in the motorsport world for introducing the Micra Cup. The first season, this was really a Quebec-only event. They had several races throughout the province, and it was so successful, they've expanded it to Ontario. They have three events in Ontario, and one of them is at Mostport. This is a famous racetrack, and we get to take this car on the track. Nissan has just finished its second season of the Micra Cup, the least expensive way to go racing. So how is this the least expensive racing series? Well, you start with the least expensive car sold in Canada, the Nissan Micra. But how is the showroom car changed? How do we make a Micra Cup race car? Uh, stock car comes in, it gets completely gutted. First things to go in are the kill switch. Second thing to go in are the race pedals. Uh, once we've done that, we install the fire extinguisher system. Uh, all these things are for safety purposes. Uh, once that's all said and done, we install the roll cage. Car goes up on the lift, we change the suspension. Uh, we change the brake lines and front pads, uh, along with the exhaust and the cold air intake. Apart from that, everything else is bone stock. Uh, motor and transmission are sealed, tamper proof completely. ECU is also sealed. Uh, nothing is played with in the electrical harness. So you're basically driving your run-of-the-mill micro. With only 109 horsepower and 107 pound-feet of torque, this car isn't about flat-out performance, more about the driver getting the most out of the car. It's all about momentum. you got to carry enough speed through the apex and then get on the power without spinning the inside wheel. you got to get the power down to the ground. Now, most people don't buy the $10,000 car. They spend a few dollars and get, like, you know, air conditioning and wind-down windows, but uh, that car is what's on the track. And they've been running these at race speeds for a year and a half, and not one engine has uh, grenaded and no transmissions have failed. So that's a real testament, I think, to the little car. When you want to, you just stab the brake and turn in, and the car just rotates beautifully. Oh, yeah. And you can and you can shift in the heel and toe downshift, but that base transmission is so forgiving that you really don't even have to think about it too much. So. It's uh, like we got a little bit more speed now, but it's, uh, it's really amazing how easy the car is to drive. Now with the, with the slicks, you get way more grip, right? And we're here today and it's 35 degrees. It's pretty hot. The number one roadblock to going racing is usually the price, but now there's an ultra competitive series dedicated to inexpensive cars. Just how affordable is it? The retail price of the car is $23,000, race ready. Uh, race ready means a set of slicks installed brand new and the car brand new ready to race. So basically you show up at the track for $23,000. The Micro Cup has finished its second season after expanding from Quebec to Ontario. Maybe one day there'll be a Western Series with a national championship. With the low cost of accessibility, it might just happen.